The Mini 2 didn't get active track, and it didn't have any sensors for avoiding obstacles. If you held out and were waiting for a Mini 3, it looks like you won't have to wait until November 2021. Rumors are hotting up that a new Mini 3 is about to be launched, with DJI reacting to stiff competition such as the Hubs and Xeno Mini Pro and bringing out a new model even sooner. Hello guys! Welcome to my video. Today I will discuss, the DJI Mini 3 release date, and what we expect from it. Please don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. And press the bell icon, for more updates. When is the DJI Mini 3 release date? First, we don't know if it's definitely going to be called the Mini 3. DJI might instead go for a Mini 2S, just as it did with the Air 2S. It's a little too early to say for sure exactly when DJI will announce the new drone, but this blog post claims that the production line is still being put into place, but is not yet up and running and, and that DJI has already shot a promo video for the drone. There are a few videos on YouTube claiming to be Mini 3 first looks, but they're likely to be fake and simply bad videos of the Mini 2, not showing any evidence that they're not using a Mini 2. How much will the DJI Mini 3 cost? The Mini 2 costs 449 US dollars, 749 Australian dollars, and more if you want the Fly More combo kit. Expect the DJI Mini 3 to be around the same price, but a little more expensive to cover the cost of the upgrades. What will we expect from the DJI Mini 3? There's not a lot to go on right now, but a couple of images appears to show the new shell of the drone which confirms that the battery will be slotted in at the rear, as before. Here are the other rumors which might well turn out to be true. 1. Better Camera Rumors, though also unconfirmed, suggest that the new Mini will get a camera upgrade, potentially using the 64MP 1-1.7 inches sensor from the DJI Pocket 2. The Mini 2 already shoots 4K at 30fps, so it may be that DJI will bump this to 60fps, or simply add the lossless zoom capability seen on the Air 2S. We could also see a jump to 1080p at 120fps, which would be a great addition for ultra-smooth slow-mo shots. 2. OcuSync 3.0 The Mini 2 had two antennae, but DJI could add an extra two and put OcuSync 3.0 in the Mini 3. This isn't just about signal range, it brings other benefits such as higher resolution, higher frame rate video streaming, as well as being more robust and able to withstand interference. 3. Obstacle Avoidance Although no one is expecting 360 degrees obstacle sensing, the Mini 3 could get front and possibly rear sensors. Although the sticker on the side of the Mini 2 said Ultra Light 249 grams, that was just because DJI didn't change it from the original Mavic Mini. The manual lists the spec as less than 249 grams and a set of precise scales shows the weight to be 238 grams, leaving a good few grams for DJI to add extra components in the Mini 3, assuming nothing else changes of course. There's headroom, then, to add a few sensors. 4. Active Track Being a software feature, adding active track to the Mini 3 won't add weight. Though DJI never explicitly said it, it appears that the tracking mode couldn't be enabled on the Mini 2 because of overheating concerns, not because it would erode sales of the Mavic Air 2 and Air 2S. If the issues have been solved, maybe there's the hope of seeing it in the Mini 3. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, you must press the like and subscribe button. And let us know your valuable feedback by commenting below the video. Oxy. Oxy.